Geiranger lies at the head of the Geiranger Fjord, which is a branch of the Stor Fjord. Geiranger is home of some of the most spectacular scenery in the world and has been named the best travel destination in Scandinavia by Lonely Planet. Since 2005, the Geiranger Fjord has been listed as a UNESCO World Heritage Site. The Seven Sisters waterfall is located just west of Geiranger. This third biggest cruise ship port receives 140 to 180 ships during the four months tourist season. Several hundred thousand people pass through every summer and tourism is the main business for the 250 people who live there permanently. The deep blue UNESCO protected Geiranger Fjord is surrounded by majestic snow-covered mountain peaks, wild waterfalls and lush green vegetation. Pictures captured as we approached Geiranger. Then at about 7.30 in the morning we saw Geiranger for the first time. The Costa Luminosa lifeboats bringing passengers to the village of Geiranger so they could board the tour buses for the shore excursion to Hellesilt.
Isabel and Jaime had signed up for the tour from Geiranger to Hellesilt. Rosita and Ove disembarked as well, but only to walk around Geiranger. Another foggy and rainy day, but the beauty of the majestic scenery cannot be denied. Costa Luminosa on the left and Costa Pacifica on the right. We were told the Costa Pacifica was bigger than the Luminosa, but because of the angle of the picture, the Pacifica looks smaller. After a walk in Geiranger, Rosita Nove went back to Costa Luminosa to enjoy the sailing from Geiranger to Hellesilt, where they would again be reunited with Isabel and Jaime. A nice Viking ship. While Isabel and Jaime were away enjoying their bus tour to Hellesilt, I decided to capture photographs of the Botero sculpture La Gorda that adorns the supernova atrium. This picture was captured at a Mariana foundry, one of the many that exists in that Colombian town where Fernando Botero creates his famous works of art. La Gorda is an imposing bronze sculpture depicting a woman lying down staring almost absent. The position of legs expresses a dynamic movement. The sculpture is more than three meters long and one and a half meters wide and weighs 910 kilos. The sculpture was commissioned by Costa Cruces. in one of the elevators videotaping La Gorda from yet another angle. And finally, a picture of the customer service desk, where we can see Patricia Capuñay, a girl from Paramonga who works for Costa Cruces. Then it was time to take a last look at Gay Ranger as Costa Luminosa got ready to set sail for Hellesilt. Rosita in front of picturesque Gay Ranger.
The Seven Sisters is a waterfall consisting of seven separate streams. The tallest one has a free fall that measures 250 meters. The legend of the Seven Sisters is that they dance playfully down the mountain while the Suter, which is a single waterfall opposite of the Seven Sisters, flirts playfully from across the fjord. Magdalene Thorensen, Henry Gibson's mother-in-law, said of the area, This fjord is surrounded by the steepest and, one is almost tempted to say, the most preposterous mountains on the entire west coast. It is very narrow and has no habitable shore area, for the precipitous heights rise in sheer and ragged strata almost straight out of the water. Foaming waterfalls plunge into the fjord from jagged peaks. There are, however, a few mountain farms here, and of these, one or two have such hazardous access by paths that wind around steep precipices and by bridges that are fixed to the mountain with iron bolts and rings that they bear witness in a most striking way to the remarkable powers of invention which the challenges of nature have developed in man. Costa Luminosa arrived at Hellesilt as scheduled. Panoramic views of Hellesilt captured by Ove from his Costa Luminosa cabin balcony. In the center of the settlement, the Hellesilt waterfall is one of the most photographed motifs in the area. The Costa Luminosa lifeboats getting ready to pick up the passengers arriving from Geiranger by tour bus, among them Isabel and Jaime. The small settlement of Hellesilt is visited by more than 100 cruise ships and 200,000 tourists every year. Then it was time for Isabel and Jaime to go back to the mothership. And time to say goodbye to Hellesilt.
and now she's dancing on a table. But oh no, she was not a she, but a he. Boo! After the show, we found out that the bad weather had finally changed for the better and the sun was shining. So we all went out to the deck to wait for the sun to set, which it did at 11.40. I must report that the good weather did not last. Heavy rain was just around the corner.